and welcome to Teeny Bee Tarot. Thank you for joining me again. It means the world to me. It, re it really does. I love doing this so much. And for all of you who join me, it just just brightens my day up so much. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so today is a pick a card on guidance on how to move forward. So, I'll give you a minute. I know the objects are a bit odd. I was looking around my room and for whatever reason these tweezers popped out at me and I really wanted to use them for an object in a pick a card reading. So, I did. Well, I am. And then this little flashlight and then three pennies over here. So, I'll give you a second and let you choose what you want to do. Alrighty, we're going to start with the tweezers. So this is guidance on moving forward. Hello, my group one, my tweezer group. <laughs> this is what we have got. All right. So we've got, I'm going to resituate the camera so I can see, so I can see it a little bit better. You might have my other tarot decks in the background, sorry about that. Can I see a little bit more? Eh. Oh well, we'll just go with this. Okay. I'm in a very squeaky chair. I'm... I can't help it. <laughs> so we've got the Eight of Wands, Six of Hearts, not Six of Hearts, Six of Cups, Five of Swords, and Seven of Wands. And you've got suffering in silence. So this is guidance on how to move forward. Okay. So right now Holding your tongue came into my head. I feel like you've closed off what you have to say. What you have to say isn't important. And you've been kind of shunned. And you are taking I want to say there's a break. There needs to be movement. There needs to be the seven of wands, which is sticking up. Well, can be sticking up for yourself, fighting against the other competitors. I feel like you've kind of shied away and hidden. And what you need to do to move forward is first begin by speaking up for yourself. Being blunt with how you're feeling. You need to let people know what's going on within you. You need to open up. And I feel like it would be best if it happened now rather than later. Swiftly, swift movement forward is the Eight of Wands. So if you address the need to speak up for yourself, 
with the five of swords and the seven of wands i'm getting you need to just get straight to the point you need to cut through the bs you need to cut through it you need to stop feeling so miserable and start speaking up You don't have to be rude or mean about it. You can be harmonious about it. You can be level-headed. But you do need to start speaking up for yourself. What you need to do to move forward is speak up. That's what you need to do is speak up. Speak your truth. Speak how you're feeling. Let people know. Get to the point. If people aren't listening, be like, hey, listen to me. I need you to listen to me. This isn't fun and games anymore. I need you to pay attention. So address the situation. You need to address the situation. You need to confront it. Instead of suffering in silence, you need to go forth and you need to say what needs to be said. I hope that resonated. If it didn't, I don't, I'm sorry. I hope it did. <laughs> if it did, that's wonderful. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't know. I will say with you guys, I'm very, I'm sad. Like I'm just very low and I feel like a mouse. I definitely feel like a mouse. And I feel like I'm being stepped on and not allowed to speak. Even though I'm in my room and there's no reason for that, I'm getting that impression very strongly. Like I just, I'm having a hard time speaking because of this energy right here. You don't feel like you can or that you should or that there's any room. You don't feel like you have any reason. I don't know if it's reason. I can't quite get the, I don't know if it's a phrase or what it is, but you need to rise above these people or this situation You've got seven, you've you've got five, six, seven, eight. So maybe you should approach these people who are belittling you. There it is, the belittling. I feel like you feel belittled. Like what you say isn't worth anything and it's just people are gonna patronize you. But you've got five, six, seven, eight, so that's a progression. You even have five, six, seven, eight, nine, I didn't even see that. But there is a progression. Definitely. <laughs> if you were to look at it this way, suffering in silence, and you've got the eight of wands moving forward fast, and then seven, speaking up for yourself. So maybe you're you're done, you're tired of feeling this way, so now it's time for you to start speaking up for yourself and start fighting for yourself, but not obviously not in a rude way, but just in a way that's going to get your point across, in a way that's going to be calming and nice and people are going to be able to hear you and you're going to be able to just get straight to the point okay so now I'm done with you guys now I feel better that feels much better okay so <laughs> now I am done with you guys I hope this resonated I really do if it didn't I'm sorry if it did that's fantastic and I hope you'll like and subscribe I really hope you guys have a wonderful day as well. Oh, this, this is so awesome. Okay, bye guys. All right. My flashlight, people. Okay, here we go. So what you people need to do, guidance to move forward in your life. Oh, well then. Oh, you need a little light in your life right now. Huh. 
okay <laughs> yeah seriously you are i feel this is your positioning right now which is the ten of swords feeling betrayed feeling heartbroken backstabbed miserable there's a lot of unhappiness going on in your life right now so what you need to do to move on from this aha you got two three of cups but um i didn't even tell you what you guys had you've got ten of swords queen of pentacles queen of cups and then the ace of wands and three of cups three of cups So, oh, this is where you are, definitely. <clears throat> Anxious, um, depressed, just overall just exhausted. Not having a good time at all. So what you need to do right here, you need to find something that puts a spark in your life, that brings a little oomph, gives you a little passion, makes you uh, feel, a little li feel alive. <laughs> makes you want to experience and do things and go places and once you find that gotta rejoice in it and I feel like the way to find it you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups she Queen of Cups Queen well Queen of Cups they're both they're both kind of similar but Queen of Pentacles she's about nurturing this is she's about emotions Nurturing your emotions. You gotta start with your emotions first before you can find anything out here. I'm just saying this is where you are, this is where you want to be, and this is where you can be. This, but this is how you get there. And it might be a long road. It might be a journey. That really depends on you and how well you tend to yourself and you tend you tend to your emotions. Um. You gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta make yourself a priority. Instead of making everyone else a priority, putting everyone else in front of you so that they can just step on you, you need to give yourself some of that energy. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself happy. Get in tune with yourself, who you really are. Get in tune with all that you are. And in doing so, you'll you'll find that you are happier, you are more joyous, that you are more celebratory. And I feel and in doing so, you will you will find this passion. You will find the passion with this joy of nurturing yourself and feeling right and feeling good within yourself. You're going to find this passion, this enthusiasm, this joy. And you are going celebrate you're going to rejoice in celebration you're going to nurture yourself you're going to nurture your emotions and you're going to start feeling better and you're going to feel real good and that's going to show in your life you are going to be more passionate more spontaneous more enthusiastic you're going to start seeing the beauty instead of seeing the misery so focus on nurturing yourself making yourself a priority so there you go I hope that resonated take what you will leave what you don't um, it's cool it's cool I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you like and subscribe and that you'll join me again because this is so awesome I love doing this oh gosh I get excited every single time, like, after I'm done, I get more and more excited for the next one. Ooh. Okay. Hello, group three, my penny people. Okay. Oop. Okay. Trapped in fear. Nine of clubs, wands, six of swords, three of wands, ten of pentacles, queen of wands, and two of swords. 
Take a doom. Okay. Seems to be a theme of, well, I mean, obviously you guys are looking for some way to go forward and how to do that. So you guys might not be in the best place, state of mind. You guys are very walled up, bricked up. Um, you have built your walls up high, high and deep and strong. Because you are trapped in fear. Um, you've built these up. And you will not release them because you are terrified to release them. Uh, sticky situation with you. Because you are going back and forth from being stuck here to seeing the possibilities of the future. To see, wanting to move on. To keep keep going on you see the possibilities you want it you feel it but for whatever reason you're just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth well not whatever reason because you've been here so long you have worked so hard to build up your walls you don't want to let go you don't want to just I mean not only do you not want to, I don't know if you really can just abandon all the work and effort you've put into these barriers I don't know if you can really just abandon it all. You're going to have to work through it. You're going to have to slowly and steadily get yourself out of this. Because it's deep. You are scared. You don't, you're comfortable with where you have been. Which makes the possibility of you not being there anymore. It's terrifying because you've been here for so long. You're scared to go anywhere else. You've been in your mind, you've built up your walls, and you've put up your guard. The, the thought of not, of just being vulnerable is terrifying. I mean, you want to be that way, you want to be able to just let go. But it's terrifying for you. So you keep going back and forth from the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles, the feeling this way to wanting to be open and have it all. So for you, even though I don't really like recommending this, I don't, it's not, feel good. You need to start feeling good. And if that means looking to the future to feel good, maybe because it's because the future's scaring you. That's part of what's scaring you. So that's not quite what. I, you've got the Queen of Compassion and creativity, creative outlet. You would do well finding a creative outlet so that you can let out these negative energies, these energies that are so pent up and mixed up and twisted. You, it, Six of Swords is about moving from harsh waters to calmer waters and I feel like I, this is you finding creative outlets so that you can put all of this, this pent up stressed out energy into it so that it can give you some peace of mind so it can make you a little bit more tranquil tranquil make you a little bit more peaceful make you a little bit more calm so that you can look out into the future and not be petrified of what might happen what's to come 
It's about slowly working your way, moving yourself out of this terrifyingness. Work, it's, it's about slowly getting yourself out of the scary state to getting yourself into a more happy, creative, abundant life. So use, use the energy that is all twisted and going in circles. I'm just seeing like a bunch, bunches of lines like in your mind. Like that's just what your mind is. Just a bunch of thoughts, a bunch of anxieties, just a bunch of, just a bunch of stuff going on. And take that hectic energy through... I mean, you could possibly get some help with friends, get a new perspective, help your friends give you a new perspective, art, so that you can put your perspective down, not only putting your perspective down, you can, it's not so much about putting your perspective down as much as it is to do with expressing yourself and getting out getting out of this trapped energy and letting it just flow so that you can move into the future a little bit more easily so that you can go into it a little bit more freely because you want this you want this but you keep you keep going back and forth because you don't know how to go forward and it's not like you can just jump right on into feeling good it's, it's a process and for you, definitely, you're going to have to definitely work. With the Six of Swords, you're going to have to take this energy and you're going to have to balance it out. Six is harmony and balancing and just like perfection. So this is not perfection, but unity. So this is about balancing out the progress. It's not just a sprint. It's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about... Taking your time and going around, not going through, but going around and taking, taking the time to find what works for you, what brings you passion and makes you excited for the future, what gets you going for the future, what brings that spark into your life. So for you, guidance to moving forward. Find something that makes you happy. Well, don't find something that makes you happy. Decide that you want to be happy. And start feeling this way. You know how you want to feel. So start practicing that. You might not always feel that way. Like, like I said, it's a process. You might not always be happy. You might be happy one out of ten times. But as you do the work, well, you might be sad nine out of ten times and happy one time. But hey, at least you're happy that once and you can slowly build up. You can slowly build that process forward and going into the future of being abundantly happy and having this abundance of joy and vitality and freedom it is a process but you you do know where you want to be you feel it you understand so now it's about feeling how you want to feel and not getting discouraged when you do hit a barrier you keep going you keep going through you keep going to calmer waters with every barrier you hit, you keep going and you keep finding something that'll break down that barrier. Not keep finding something, you'll just, you'll find, you'll look at something new. That's what you gotta do, just look at what makes you happy. Start by looking at what makes you happy to begin with. And give your focus to what makes you happy. And then if you do come in a block in the road, then change, change to a thought, to a different thought that makes you happy. And continue to do that until your thoughts are pretty much consistently happy. 
it takes time, it takes effort, but if you want this Ten of Pentacles, you've got to do the work. I mean, everyone has to do the work. It's not like you snap your fingers and you're better. You have to do the work and you have to, you have to take your time and you have to be consistent and not get discouraged because, I mean, you already are pretty discouraged. I would say there's like 7 out of 10 like discouragement. There is that I do want to go forward, I do want to move, but there is that really stuck feeling. So focus on the things that already make you happy and continue to focus on those things regardless of over here because if you continue to do this you'll have a brighter, happier, more successful, creative future. I hope this resonated with you guys. Take what you will, leave what you don't want, that's fine. I hope you'll like, I hope you subscribe, and I thank you so much for joining. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again, thank you, thank you, thank you! Bye guys! <laughs>